Hello and welcome on this beautiful morning here with Yoga Therapy Mallorca. I just come back from two trainings in Holland and Belgium where I introduced the Farsha dance as a daily warm-up. And so that you all can benefit from this very easy and for sure not new um, warm-up, I just recorded today here by the sea so you can do it at home when you have forgotten some of the movements. Please know nothing of this is new. It's a combination how it felt organic and natural to me between mobilization of the joints, spiral dynamic, fascia work and you are totally free to make out of that whatever feels good to you. So enjoy these few minutes here of the fascial dance. I usually start with three minutes of shaking, which I won't do here for three minutes, but you just start to shake and really loosen up all of the stagnant energy that can have, it's possible that it has accumulated over the night. And once you have done this for three minutes, come to stillness, place your hands on your heart, Feel how this energy has settled after having been stirred up. And become aware of this very close connection that Farsha provides you. That Farsha holds us together, connects us with each other and separates. And from here make sure you have a wide stand and begin with your right leg here to really roll over your toes here. Sometimes it can even be painful as we are not used to bring movement and pressure onto these 26 bones that form a foot. Then put the weight onto your right foot and do the same with your left one. And after a while you will feel how the movement comes not only, happens not only at the toes, also at the knee and most of all it comes from the hip. The head of the femur bone moving within the hip socket. And then again the weight on your left foot and do now the internal rotation starting on your toes followed by the knee and coming really from the mobility at your hip joint. The same on the other side and really take your time here. I just have a little bit of time pressure because people come here and will swim soon and talk loud. So I will go through it quite speedy, okay? So after we have done this, we go to the big, big hip circles. And you can even take really the arms with you. Take them along. Those who have dedicated already time and studies and experience, practice to the fascia, they know that everything is interconnected. The little pinky toe with the shoulders, the lower abdominal, with the back of our spine, every single cell is connected from the deep layer to the outer layer of our being. And once you have done this again, come to stillness and start simply to rotate from the middle of the body. But allow everything here to move along. Let it move with you. Loosen this sacroiliac joint, the lower spine, the shoulders, the head, the neck. Change also the direction. Enjoy these free movements, not diagonal, not linear. And then coming back to stillness. Feel the support, the grounding energy from the earth.
and begin to spread your fingers here of your right hand. Imagine a flamenco dancer. Really spread one finger after the other. You will feel the tension here of the fingers, of the fashion between the fingers. Move. And then really start to move your whole body following this movement. Don't stay still, don't get blocked, get out of your alignment trained mind, dance. You can really do this forever here until you find that this is enough now for you. Come with both hands to the center, spread it out to the side, spread the fingers, spread the toes, lift the toes, squeeze every single muscle in your body, even your face, really, really squeeze, 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 squeeze. Keep breathing and then let go here, roll the shoulders back and start with the other hand. First the fingers and take as much time as you need we are not so used to really spread the fingers. We are very much used to write WhatsApps, Instagram comments, Facebook, emails. So really give these wonderful bones, muscles and structures the space that they deserve. It doesn't have to look a certain way. It just has to come out of your own body. She or he will tell you where to go, where you need space, liberation, enjoy. And when it is enough for you again, both hands in front of your heart center, push it away to the sides, lift the arms a little bit more, Spread the fingers, spread the toes, lift the toes, keep breathing, but squeeze every single muscle here. Even the face if you want, really squeeze, 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 and then relax. Shoulders back and down. Allow your head to fall downwards, the chin sinking towards the chest and then go in your own rhythm, releasing neck, upper shoulders, upper body, go a few circles here to one side. A few circles to the other side. Let the breath guide your movement. And the next time you come with your chin to the chest, pause, open the eyes, send some gratitude to your beautiful and perfect body. No matter what form, what shape, what imperfections, what quality, it's just beautiful. And with the inhalation, lift the head, lift the arms, interlace the fingers, exhale, draw the chi in front of your body downwards, really close. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the heels, lift the shoulder blades. Press the palms towards the sky, keep breathing. Keep the shoulder blades lifted for another one or two breaths. Simply relax the shoulder blades, keep lifting the heels. And then eventually lower the heels, inhale here, and then stretch to your right side to really bring space between the ribs on your left side. Inhale, come back up. Exhale to the other side, bringing space between the ribs. Inhale back to the center, join the palms and the index fingers 
ground and press the feet into the earth lift and eventually go into your first light back bend here without losing the breath inhale come back and then simply with slightly bent knees fall forward here hold your elbows release the arms roll up again bring the arms up interlace the fingers press them up inhale here and then stretch to your left side grounding your right outer foot inhale back to center exhale stretch to your left side to your right side sorry grounding the left outer foot Bring this part of the fascia on the tension so it can benefit from this stretch here. Inhale back, join palms and index fingers. Maybe you want to go now a little bit stronger into back bend. And once you come back and fall forward, you probably want to hook the thumbs or interlace the fingers behind your back. the hands, bend the knees and then just rock and roll onto your fingertips, over your ankles, your toes. Give pressure on the fingertips, on the toes. And then come back, separating the feet a little bit, going into this squat where you can really become heavy with your hips and just with your arms reaching forward allow your head and neck to really become heavy and breathe into your kidneys here into the back of your spine five deep breaths next inhalation to lift the head and find in a very elegant way your way to a seated position for me where you can continue your day thank you so much for watching